So here we are, Mazzy. Yeah. Dunkeld Cathedral. And there's a marker just past there, what we'll just passed. And it's talking about the Jacobites trying to attack it in the 1600s. They came here at the Jacobite uprising and they were trying to attack the cathedral, but the people of Dunkeld were really good. And it went on for hours and hours and hours and they could not get it. And they used that many musket balls, the people of Dunkeld had to rip part of the roof off, the lead off the roof, really? to uh, make more musket balls. Cool. But it worked because they stopped them from, from getting it. Got an incredibly old slab here. Can you see the cross on that, Mazzy? It looks upside down though, did it? Mm, slightly. It says on here it's 8th or 9th century. Wow. It was reused as a tombstone in 1729. There's a few things here which are really old. That's one of them. There's one thing. Oh, it's that it's over there. Yeah, yeah, looks amazing. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this is the Apostle Stone. Yeah, what is it? It's from 9th, 10th century. Ooh. And from what I read, it's got three depictions on it. This is not what you'd expect. This is actually like a battlefield scenery. And it's like soldiers lined up, apparently. And on one side it's got Daniel in his lion's den, which I'm guessing is that. Don't know. And on the other side it's the story of the, what is it, the loaves and the fish, was it? Loaves and fishes. So you've got two Bible stories and a battle scene on the other side. But this is like, oh, sorry, <laughs> hitting her in the boob there. Um, yeah, there's some things here which is from very early Christianity because St. Columba came over here and St. Mumbo, they've both visited this cathedral apparently. And St. Columba, when he was over on the Isle of Iona, Iona yeah. um, all the Vikings were going up the west coast of Scotland so to preserve his, uh, what do you call them? Like treasures, saintly treasures, what do you call them? Relics. <laughs> preserve his relics, they sent them over here and they were hidden here, they buried them underneath the steps so that the Vikings couldn't get them. I don't know where they are now though. Yeah, I was going to ask. You've just seen something interesting, haven't yeah. you? This is the family who owned all this area once upon a time, the Athols. And there's the Athol vaults, do you want to show them what it looks well, yeah, like? Yeah, we were wondering what it was, wasn't we? I doubt we can get in, but it would be amazing if we could. Didn't we see a better picture than that? This one here, yeah. though. Yeah. Look at that, that's somewhere underneath the cathedral, that's wonderful. It's under the chapter house, wherever that is. Yeah, the chapter house, I'm not sure. But look at the designs on them. Clearly very, very important people in the area. And this makes it clear just how important they were. That is the Duke of Athol, one of them. You've got this huge, have you seen this Mazzy behind you? Look at the size of Mazzy, and look at the size of that. I think that is the biggest plaque or whatever you'd call it I've ever seen in a church. It is huge. That must be nearly 30 feet tall. And it looks like it's not finished as if there's still room for something else to go on there. What does that tell you about it? The Athol Monument. Read about it there if you like. There's a tombstone behind you there. Where? Here. <laughs> this is for Neil Gow, who was quite a famous Scottish composer. He used to play the violin and things. And they took this from his grave and restored it and put it in here. There he is. But on this walk, Mazzy, which we can't go on because the path's yeah. closed, but if we could have gone on that walk, there is a Neil Gow tree. And apparently he used to sit under the tree composing his, his songs oh, underneath it. How cute. So they named it after him. But does that mean he's buried here then? Um buried in no. Little Dunkeld churchyard. It must be another church in the area. So we're reading about the Athol family and wondering where this vault is. 
It says in the chapter house. Where's the chapter house? We're asking each other. We're in it. This is the chapter house, which but is now a museum. It's below us. Yeah. It's below us. Okay, I see. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, all them tombs which you saw there are right underneath his feet. That's a priest's squint. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> so the priest could be in the chapter house next door yeah. and he could look in to here. So I'm, all I can imagine is there was like a mirror here and he'd be able to see inside. He was spying on him. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, come through here, Mazzy. What were you saying? You're not that impressed so well, far? We've been to smaller ones and really get nicer in here, ones. Get in here. Well, Firstly, look at the headless bishop. There. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> he was one of the bishops here. There's actually six bishops buried here, all dating from 1183 to 1526. And that's one of them. Does that mean he's buried underneath? I couldn't tell you. Oh. Probably, I don't know. But headless. I don't know why. I'm presuming it's just fallen off. I don't know. But this is the star of the show behind me. Oh my god, I just spotted it. <laughs> oh my god, the wolf amazing. of Badenoch. That is amazing. Oh my god. I have told the story of this guy before on my Deep Digger Dan channel. And I did learn a lot about him, but I can't remember any of it now. And I, I remember seeing pictures of this and thinking, oh, I want to see where he actually is, because it looks fantastic. And here it is. He was ruthless, was this guy. You're treating him as if he's a nice person. He's not. He's horrible. No, I'm not. <laughs> the wolf of Badenoch. What he did, this yeah. guy burnt down cities. He burnt down Elgin. And the town of Forres and Elgin. Closed down the cathedral. It was a nasty piece of work, was this guy. Yeah, but this is a nice piece of work. Whoever carved all this... <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah. It, even look, it looks metal, doesn't yeah. it? Which is in armour. Yeah. It's clearly stone. What's that at the bottom? Is that like a dog? That's a lion at the bottom. Oh, yeah. A very ugly one. And all underneath, look, you've got all these little people. So we're going back a long time. We're talking 1343 he was born. Alexander Stewart. Um, but yeah, because of the things he did, he got nicknamed the Wolf of Badenoch. Hey, another little bucket list item I can cross off. really good Mazzy. Where is it? Over here. <clears throat> They've got little books on telling you about the place and look how many different languages they've got it in. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 different languages. They cater for everybody. That's really good. It is good isn't it? So we've just come outside but I think there's more to see around the side of it, the more, medi the more ancient part of it. Ooh, but just walking good. out I found it really quite funny what you just what? said. What? She just wasn't feeling the historic side of it. She didn't feel it. She didn't feel that old. It didn't feel that old. You know, you stood next to mm -hmm. the tomb of one of the most important no, people in Scottish history from bit. the 1350s. No. <laughs> <laughs> look at the window. Yeah, this is the old there. part, look. This is nice. So you've got the new part there, which we've been in, which goes to there. And this is the old part of the cathedral. 
which is all being restored at the moment, so we probably can't get in, but we'll have a quick look. We're walking past this gravestone here, and I noticed the first thing I noticed was an axe. I says, Look at that one over there with an axe on it. And Mazzy's first reaction was, Well, look at that one over there with a heart on it. It's amazing how you can both look at the same thing and see different <laughs> things. <laughs> well, it looks like it's saying Tom. It does look like Tom a little bit, yeah. yeah. But it's not. The guy in there is called James. 1724. Very old, and it's in amazing condition. So, this shows you the entire cathedral, if you like. So that's the bit we've just been in. This bit we haven't been in and it's all been restored with the scaffolding up as you can see. Which is a shame because you've got like rude screen from 1510, the date on that. I'd have liked to have seen that and there's some ceiling paintings here from the 1500s. And here's a tower. Now there's a door there. I doubt we can get up it, but we're certainly going to have a look. So this is what's going on inside the rest of the cathedral, guys. A lot of work going on. Seems crazy that there's all this scaffolding going on and you've got graves right next to you there. But that is where Badenberg, uh, Bad I keep calling him Badenberg. I can't remember his name now. The Wolf of Badenoch. He was actually in there originally, down in this part here. But now they've moved him. I don't know if they've just moved him while they're restoring it or what, but uh, he's not in there anymore. Just looking at the far end of it now. We've got this huge opening up here. And as he says, would that be a window or a door? <laughs> that, if that were a door, that's the biggest door I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and what would you do? Fly up to the door to get through it? It is impressive. I'm sorry for taking Mickey out of York time. I know you do quite often. <laughs> I just I, I don't mean to be cruel. I you know don't mean that. Mean to be silly. <laughs> and this is the last side to the cathedral. The wind you can see the windows look absolutely fantastic. How old and weathered they are. Can you explain this? Yeah. Go on then. What? <laughs> Well, the whole of Dunkeld, beautiful, no snow anywhere. This is a beautiful day. And a square of snow here. Oh, that's really obvious. Why is it obvious? We're in the shade. And well, there's I'm sunny sure there's over other there. places which are in the shade. That's in the shade. It's just like a, a perfect... In fact, it's probably the shadow from the, from the tower. It's probably shady here all day. I'm, I'm actually quite right. You are right, and I look <laughs> stupid this time. So that was Dunkeld Cathedral. What did you think? Cute. Cute. Mm, I like the grave thing was all right. That was good. I loved it. I loved it in there. That was one of my favourites. No, no. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. We're going for a walk now. Yeah. Although we have been for a walk all morning. Yeah. We're going for a proper walk now in some woodland. It's called the. Hermitage, is it? Hermitage. The Hermitage. It's <laughs> one of the oldest tourist attractions in Scottish history, apparently. Well, 200 years old. We're going to see a cave. We're hopefully going to see a cave. Yeah. Um, so join us for that one. But for yeah. this one, thank you for joining. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.